All right, welcome back to SOS. I am Staff Sergeant Badass. Sip cup. And today, we are going through our food storage, and we're going to take you with us. Mm -hmm. uh, you that's wanna... not it. That's that not way. it. That's some of it. That's just a piece of it. Uh, just a quick shot. We've got this to go through real quick. There. And then I have got to find a way to make a trip to the shed to get rid of all that extra water that we've got. We've got more out there, but unfortunately, it's doing a lot of that for the past couple of days. So, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to bang this into everything, slam that into the... There's that. And the knock that over there. There we go. Hey, I All right. Hey, hippies. Hippies? Hippie. All right. So give us a second, and we're going to put this up on the table, and then we're going to kind of go through some stuff. But before, I guess before we put it up here, kind of what we do. Do you want to say what we do before we even go to doing this? We collect food storage. That's what we do. Okay, we collect. Okay, now every month I do this ordeal where I kind of set stuff on the table and like, Look, just a reminder, go buy something. Get something for yourself so you can collect food. Uh, every now and then, spend like 12 bucks here, 10 bucks there, and then da-da, you're going to have food storage before you know it. Mm -hmm. Now, what we do is we cycle through our food. And we're doing that now because some of the stuff we're going to put in our pantry, some stuff in our pantry we're going to take out, put in here. So we're just going to kind of do a rotation thing. But first, we've got to get it all out of the bins. And that's a lot of bin. So, and we've got another one we got to move around, and there's more. But that's okay. We're just going to do these for today. All right? Mm -hmm. So, hang on. Okay, I'm sure there's an easier way for you guys to see this. I know it probably seems kind of overwhelming, and it looks like uh, an extreme mountain for some people. For us, this isn't enough. Other people will look at this and say, dang! Yeah. And for us, and some of you watching understand. I'm going to bring this up so you can see a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Anyway, some people would be like, hey, this that, that's not enough, dude. When you guys are watching my show, we're a multi-channel, right? Okay, let me back you up some. We're a multi-channel. So, what have you seen us do so far? What have you seen the BA family doing? Let me bring this over more. You've seen us canning food. Lots of food, right? Lots of different types of food. You don't see what we do when we're not on camera, right? Sometimes I've told you guys we do stuff we don't film it. We do a lot of stuff. We do our canning. We also do our gardening. We're going to start doing more gardening. Weather's going to get better. We're going to do more dehydrating, vacuum sealing, some of the other stuff that I do on the side that I don't even talk about. Water storage that we do, we don't even talk about. There's a lot of stuff that goes on on a daily basis. We make runs for things that we don't even do. Or show on the on this channel it's like the bucket storage we haven't even mm -hmm. gotten to bucket storage yet what do you what do you think we should kind of start kind of pointing out I well mean, i think a good thing to kind of keep in mind too is you got to have morale food especially when you have kids you want them to try and stay in good spirits especially if you know, the weather's really horrible and maybe you lost power and that's why we got our, you know, little shark fruit snacks and popcorn and our kids love popcorn and peanut butter and mac and cheese and we try and keep those things in mind a lot and it's just, that's comfort and you want comfort food. You don't want just want a box like two crates of Top Ramen, I mean, that's depressing to me. I don't want to eat Top Ramen. Exactly. When it's already just horrible conditions. I want some type of comfort. You know, Billy heard you say the power's out. So if you say the power's out, Billy's going to assume you can't pop popcorn because there's no microwave. Yeah, but we have a Coleman. <laughs> we have a barbecue. There's ways of popping popcorn without a microwave. It's so funny. People have slid so far down the rabbit hole that Ordinary, regular technology no longer exists anymore. It's obsolete. Your basics. Like like the person that was asking me about, how do you change the batteries out in a watch once you put it on a leather watch band? Pop the pin, silly. 
Oh. Yeah, instead of thinking outside the box, think outside of technology. Exactly. Their head's too far into, like, just outer space. But we're here to help you. For you, those of you that are like us and prep and prepare, whatever you want to call it, things are not good outdoors. And if you've taken a look around, you know if you haven't started, then you need to start. And if you're already there, you probably are a lot further than we are, actually. Mm -hmm. Some of you watching our channel are way more prepared than us. Yeah. But that's just props to you guys that are, and these are for the ones that are not even there. So, or here, okay? So, now what we do, we do this on an annual basis. We don't do this every six months. We grab a few cans, we start going through the stuff. We're separating it by styles, Fruits, veggies, kind of thing. We've got our cocktail fruit stuff over here. We've got our veggies there. We've got uh, over here. We've got like uh, we separate like the raviolis and things like that. And the expiration date, like for beans, is ridiculous. Except for kidney. Kidney's the one that can kill you, but you got to cook it. If Just it's bloomed, you can't eat it. Yeah. That means you'll see white stuff kind of sprouting out too. You yeah. Can I, there's different types of ordeals, but we do, um, we're getting ready to transfer, so we've collected, now I'm going to bring you over here and we'll kind of go through some of this stuff real quick. I'm going to have to move you around because this is not going to be one of these like, hey, pause, let's take this step by step kind of moments. Alright, so if you can see here, this is all just beans, right? Well, we've collected these when we go to the store. Now, what's next? What's next? Am I going to cycle this into what I have over here that I have already in my pantries? No, absolutely not. I, I might take a look at what I've got over there, but nine times out of ten, I'm going to bust out one of these. This is just stuff that we collect. We need to build up enough of it so that we can put it in a storage container, a bucket, you know, do a mylar sack or vacuum seal it or whatever it is. So. We've got a collection of beans that need to be taken out of our, beans, our, our bins because we don't put these in our bins in a particular order. We put them in there as we shop, grocery shop. We come home with groceries. We pick through, hey, honey, what's going in the food storage? Well, this bag of beans, this thing of pasta here, a couple of these, and that over there. on sale. Basically, whatever's on sale. Now this is, our, this is our process and we, you guys wanted to know what our process is, so I'm trying to fill you in on what we do. So we, each time we go grocery shopping, we grab like, there's a thing of jip or whatever, you know. Sometimes we get this stuff, this is the Cheap Food City brand, we get this stuff either for ourselves or for our dog. Our dog loves peanut butter, dog loves peanut butter, and he's security, so security gets comfort food too. <laughs> so. What we'll do is say, we have one of these, we pick up a couple of packs, packs of like the country time. This is just your biscuits and gravy, uh, more biscuits and gravy, we've got taco seasoning, taco seasoning can be used for everything, all of our different packets of stuff. Sometimes we're cruising by there, we get the cheapest one possible, chunk it in the cart, and with some beans, and then whatever canned goods we pick out that, that week when we're shopping, and then... When we get home, we have these bins, and you just saw our bins, and the bins, basically, what we do is we take the items and chunk them in there. We don't have time to sort through them. We have three kids, we're really busy lives, and we just don't have time for all that. Back you back out real quick, in case Sippy wants to talk. Well, the, another thing that we're not really showing because we don't, it's raining and it's out in the shed is... The uh, enormous, cheap, like, 20, 30-pound bags of dried dog food. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, we can't forget about the animals because there's no way we want to dip into our food supplies to feed our dog. Yeah. And sorry, Kiki That's the your cat. Point. You're, uh, you're going outside. So. Tell them to go outside. Um, go get the mice or become an MRE. But... That's another thing to keep in consideration is, you know, pet food storage. And But yeah, so kind of the process that people wanted to know 
is, like I said, you pick up items, a couple here, a couple there, toss them in the bin. You don't have to keep track of it until the time comes. Time comes, it's now. So it's, it's now for us and we have to do it. So before we're putting things back away, we will take out the stuff that no longer is supposed to stay there, which like the beans, the pasta, the rice that we have, all that stuff's going to get set to the side. And I had to still deal with the rice because I haven't been buying a lot of rice. Because usually when we do our rice, we put it in the five gallon bucket and seal the deal and call it a day. We don't do this uh, individual packets of rice a lot. Uh, that's one of those things that we kind of just, we're going to do the bucket. Okay, let's do the bucket. 20 bucks and then five dollars for the bucket. Boom. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much that for that. And, but when it comes to all this other stuff, we, this is the time you pull everything out, every, it's an annual thing, and then we go through, we look at our expiration dates, if it's pushing the max, we'll go ahead and cycle it into our pantry in the kitchen, go ahead and eat it, we kind of put that in our list of what we need to get when we go back to the store, hey, we had to take out uh, six cans of this, okay, check. Uh, we had to take out two containers of this and check and we'll go back next time we're at the grocery stores those are the items that we need to pick up to replace what fell out on us yeah. so that's kind of how the process works and that's what we're about to do now and <laughs> we've got to take all this stuff which is look it's kind of a pain but we got to take all this stuff and go through it date by date and then put it back in there now canned foods there's this speculation there's this wives tales of things you know if you drop it it's going to go bad and this stuff and the other stuff and then blah blah blah, blah. and then there's a lot of that stuff you do your own research into that you select how you want to store your your foods if you think it's been dented you don't trust it there you go uh, and what was the other thing I was going to say time how much time do you want to keep your canned goods if you kept them for like seven years and obviously they would not have any nutritional value left to them at all and you would just be eating a gooey mess but I wouldn't recommend keeping your stuff seven years past its expiration date I would that's only if you don't have any other options but I am going to say let you know give it at least a year past its expiration I'm gonna say for just a safety hazard for yourself and your family a, about a year and then if that if you think you can push it more then go for it uh, but the average is like uh, the average is just a little bit longer than its expiration date yeah cuz I mean especially if we still have the money we just we cycle our stuff out every year we go by the expiration date because we can replace so it's it's kind of more for we'll say that one year we don't really have any money or we can't find a job and exactly. this is all of our food then at least it would have lasted us just a little bit longer than if we would have just let it go for another two years yeah so that's just there's a lot of stories of people that actually had food storage and survived because of their food storage not just that but when we moved and we left the military life we didn't have a paycheck coming in anymore and it was it was move, get moved, take care of kids. We sold what silver we had to get diapers. We sold a lot of things just to get the bare necessities until I could get work, until she could get work, and we could start supporting our family again. And we didn't have to worry about spending that little money that we had on our food because we already had a food storage, so we were able to put that to our diapers and toilet paper or whatever. That's pretty much how that worked the deposit for utilities and stuff until we got that paycheck. But yeah, I wasn't going to sit here and say, hey, you know what, I'm just going to keep what I got. No, I'm going to I'm gonna get rid of what I got if I have to, to provide for the family. And that's what it's all about. You're not going to sit here and be like, oh, I've got some silver, you know, in 20 years it might be worth something. No, I'm not playing that game. It's my kids and family come first. I'm not playing that game. 
I'm not, I don't have 20 years to wait. My mouths need to get fed now, and clothes need to get put on people's backs now. It's one of those kind of things. You know, it's kind of what it came to, so that's why that happened. But mm -hmm. this is, and this is our process, and this is how we do this. And now we have to take our bins and set our bins out, and then basically we each grab something and read it and then say, hey, I've got this, are you putting that there? Yes, and then back and forth until we complete the task. Yes. And then it's back to where it goes. And Yep, we just check the dates and we just make sure nothing is ruptured or broken. Yep. And we do it every year. Every year. That's pretty much all I've got. You got anything else? No, I mean, everybody's food storage is going to look different. I mean, yeah. You know, not everybody's going to dig on beans and chicken noodle soup. We just stick to what our family likes. And um, especially I stock up on a lot of green beans, um, cream of mushroom, and those dried onions. Because to me, I like to try and make meals that I don't really need to cook. That are still good and everybody will eat. But, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it. all I got. And uh, we're going to do... Um, how to on kind of bucket storage for some of you that want to know more about it and we'll just do this for visual aids so you kind of get it some people need to see what people are doing instead of just hearing it so that's kind of why we're doing this visual aid for you guys this is kind of what we're doing that's really all we got yep. you're watching SOS I am Staff Sergeant Bonus. Uh, sippy Cup and take it easy